Hi everybody, um, Nick Mare here. It's been uh, quite a while since uh, I've done a review. So uh, before I start, just like to say a big thank you to everybody who wished myself and my new wife well on our big day. We're married um, about six weeks now at this stage. So um, thanks very much to everybody, particularly shout outs to Cavell Prime, uh, Cobra Commander and I Love Mess. Thanks very much for, for all your nice messages um, and everybody else that I've probably forgotten and offended. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is probably the most overdue review in the history of YouTube. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get on with it. And here it is. The subject of today's review is Die Atlas. Now, Die Atlas may not be um, a very well-known character to a lot of you. Um, but Die Atlas succeeds um, Star Saber as the leader of the Autobots in Transformers Zone. Uh, which was a pretty ill-fated um, TV series that never was released in Europe. Lasted for one episode, and a pretty promising episode actually, um, to be honest, um, in Japan, and then was probably cancelled. So the odds are it was probably a pilot um, that was just not taken up. Anyway, Zone um, revolves around uh, Zodiac or Zone Energy, um, which is a, a type of, I suppose, super energy. Um, and the new Decepticon leader, uh, Vilo Jigger, or v Vilin Jigger, whoever, whatever way you want to pronounce it, he dispatches the 10 Decepticon generals, essentially the um, all of the all of the combiner teams, um, Trypticon, Predaking, um, Menasaur, Bruticus, all of them, Devastator. So he sends them out to uh, to find this new energy source, and in their search, they are brought to the planet Thelum. Now Thelum is a, a a neutral planet, and uh, they destroy it. But during the course of the destruction of the planet, Star Saber is caught um, in, in the explosion. And he's rescued by Diaclus um, and um, until he's repaired, um, he hands over control of the Autobots to Diaclus. Now, Diaclus then travels to Earth with um, another one of what are called the powered masters. Now, essentially, the powered masters are very are uh, battery operated. Um, so, in this case, as you can see, Diamus has these tracks here. So, very similar. Anyone who has Star Convoy out there will know what I mean. Um, I don't actually have batteries in it um, at the moment. Uh, I try not to keep batteries in my transformers because, as my Omega Supreme will tell you, um, battery acid knackers um <laughs> transformers um and just destroys their, their their motorized parts anyway um sonic bomber and uh, and diathlus uh, travel to earth find his own energy and are powered up and become powered masters now diathlus um is a pretty badass leader um, in his debut, Diatlas destroys Trypticon, Devastator, and in probably the best kill scene I've ever seen in Transformers, uh, he chops Predaking in half. So we're just going to have a look at that, I'm just going to show you what I mean, and then we'll be back. <laughs> badass stuff pretty badass stuff unfortunately in the toy uh, these wings don't come off to form that kind of killer Z um, 
other than that, there's not really too much more to talk about um, in uh, in the bio diatlas. Um, he, uh, as I said, that the zone was cancelled after one episode, um, but I believe through Japanese comics it did it did live on for for a short period. Um, and the there was a third powered master added, um, called Road Fire. Now Road Fire, um, Diatlas and Sonic Bomber could all combine to be uh, to become Big Powered. Um, so I'll show you what Big Powered looks like. So there you go. That's Big Powered. Um, now. Similar to anybody who has any of the battle stars, um, as in um, Star Convoy or Sky Gary, um, you see that the, these uh, they actually combined in their alt modes as opposed to um, uh, as opposed to their robot modes, um, and essentially, um, Diatlas is tracks here and there is a cog there as well that basically drove the motorized parts um so diatlas's reign of leadership of the autobots um ends pretty much as quickly as it starts to be honest with you um at the start of battle stars he charges sky gary with the, the task of resurrecting optimus prime in fairness, who hasn't resurrected Optimus Prime by that stage. Um, and he hands over the Zodiac of his own energy, which uh, has really kind of become the, the matrix of leadership because there was no matrix really in uh, in Transformers Victory. Um, Star Saber, to my knowledge, never really had a matrix of leadership. Um, so that's pretty much it for the bio. Um, he does have a son. Um, funnily enough, which I'll, I'll show you, um, called Speeder, who's his Minicon companion, and uh, we'll show that in a little bit more detail in another part of the review. Um, he is a triple changer. Um, well, he's actually got four modes, now that I think about it. He's got his robot mode here. He has a Minicon base mode, um, which is quite nice, and we'll show in, in a bit of detail. He has a jet mode. Um, and he also has a kind of drill bit tank mode um, and an attack mode. So four separate modes, uh, lots of fun with this guy. Um, he is kind of rare on eBay. There are a lot, a lot of knockoffs. Um, a couple of quick points just to uh, for anybody who is looking for a diatlas. Um, always check these three points here on the crown um, or on his head if you like. Um, these should be gold. If they're white, you're looking at a knockoff. Uh, the Minicon, uh, which you will see in a bit more detail a little bit later on, uh, should be white. If that's grey, that's a knockoff that you're looking at. Um, the face, their face is, a, is, is quite nicely detailed actually, um, and we'll show you that in a bit more a bit later on. Uh, on the knockoffs, it's not so great. I do have a knockoff, um, and I might show you them side by side. Uh, in a still a bit later on, um, but in in my opinion, you know, if you're gonna go get Diatlas, get the original. He will set you back, but you know, he's he's well worth it. Um, the uh, the knockoffs aren't bad, you know, if that's if that's what you want. They are not bad as as they go, um, certainly not. And uh, you know, my the one that I have, even down to the box, is is a pretty convincing one. So um. Because this guy's a little bit awkward to transform, um, we're going to do this in another section. Okay.